Another day in Barkley, uh, Wagamere. As y'all can see, the wiring is much more organized, a lot less wiring, so the wiring is in the pocket. Um, I did, I had a lot of issues with all the wiring, and I got it all figured out. Uh, it's just stuff like this that I, um, I was just bringing up and, and adding, it, adding the options. This is from the Poly uh, FE ECU to the MSD TAC output. Uh, when you turn the key on, the MSD sends a pulse to the ECU to prime your, your throttle body, your IPVs. Um, kind of like, like, like if you will push a pedal in the morning on the carburetor car, clack, 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 and then crank it, boom. So that's what it is. And the fuel pump from the output signal from the ECU, so the truck takes a little bit to start uh, because it's burning, it doesn't have those pulses. So he won't, when you turn the key on, it should spray like three or four times. Uh, it actually sprays five, I'm sorry, it sprays five times from each of the injectors at the throttle body. It sprays five times. Uh, but the output signal for the for the ECU is burned because of the pump had a bad ground. It was shorting and stuff like that, so it ended up burning that uh, the output out of the ECU. So also, I'm gonna have to run a different circuit for it. But um, I just wanna give you guys an update. Um, kind of let you guys see the wiring over right here. It's pretty much all the stuff. This is pretty much all the wiring. Um, that I'm gonna end up just running, which is like half ah, of the wiring that it was running for to them. Um, the film got replaced, he had non uh de injected poses and the poses that he had that were they were leaking in air and uh, putting air into the system, just not still pressure rated poses and stuff like that. So we got all that figure out. Um, uh, we got all I got it all figured out, so uh, there he goes. Right now it's supposed to fold. It's supposed to fold the pump, but because he's not, he's, he's just running a straight, uh, straight to, I'm tapping straight into the line that goes to the, to the fuel pump, but he's not running any power whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put power, let the pump get primed, I'm gonna let the pump get primed, and then I'm gonna start the truck. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put you guys. Right there. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it, and then I'm gonna give it some a little bit of gas so you guys can I can hear. Are you okay, please? You crank right up. That's because this one got this one got primed. The truck is running good. I'm gonna give it some gas. Truck runs good. I'm happy. Um, I continue to do some more wiring. I'm gonna go for it. This is the pressure. It does. So we'll have to fix that as well. Cut it so you don't put power when you're supposed to. And um, yeah, so I continue making more more videos. We're kind of seeing light at the end of the tunnel. We still have to figure out. This is a bird nest over here with the fuel gauge with the gauges and see what the heck is going on in there. But he has stuff like this that you look on the other side is like no wire or like this green one. This green one that right here that is on the gauge, but if you go right here and you look on the back, <laughs> there's no freaking wire, so we gotta figure all that out. And see what's going on. All right. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Pray a lot. Be good. Do a lot of good things for people. Love you all and have fun.